Hey you guys, so today I'm going to share with you guys how to make relleno de papa out of mashed potatoes. I know I made a video a few months back um, of making them out of real potatoes, which is good, but also you can also make it out of mashed potatoes, which is a lot easier, faster, and just amazing. So I'm going to share with you. I'm going to be using these 100% um, Idaho potatoes. Um, so I'm going to use this and um, also I'm going to show you how I make the ground beef. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have a, a pan like this and I'm going to put the um, ground beef in there. And I'm going to brown it So and also cut it in little pieces. Okay, so I'm going to let this get brown. I'm going to cook this for about 5 to 10 minutes. And then I'm going to start to put the spices in it, okay? Alright guys, you see that it is nice and brown. Now, I'm going to drain all the grease. Okay, now that I drained the grease out of the meat, I'm going to start to spice it up. I'm going to use a spoon and a half of Soplito. Just one and a half. I'm also going to put a pack of sazon to give it the orange flavor. I'm also going to put some black pepper in there. I'm also going to put a little bit of parsley. A little bit of ground cumin and a little bit of adobo okay also I'm gonna add some garlic in here fresh garlic as always I'm going to put it inside of my garlic crusher and crush it in there One. Two, two, three, four. Okay. And it all in the bottom. Scrape it off. I'm also going to cut up this little piece of onion, not too much, just a little bit. And I'm going to cut it. Slice it. Add the onion. The onions are in there. Now I'm going to cook this for a little while. And I'm going to cook this until the onions get like transparent like and the garlic I'm going to cook it. It's in here. It's going to saute. Um, you actually, you can put potatoes in here as well but it's already a stuffed potato so I think it's enough potatoes. <laughs> I'm going to cover it and let it cook for a couple minutes on low. You get the juices flowing. Later on you can taste it. See how it tastes. If you want more flavor, go ahead and add more. If you like it just the way it is, go ahead. Also, if you like your spicy, go ahead and put your hot peppers in there and all that good stuff. Let's start to make the um, mashed potatoes. So, I have a pot here. I'm going to fill it up with water. I'm going to put one, two, three, four. I'm going to put four cups of water and I'm going to bring this to a boil. So in this bowl I'm going to be mixing the mashed potatoes. So I'm just going to empty some out of the box. And of course if you're making for a little family you just make for your family. I'm making for a family of five. So I'm going to cook a lot more. I think that's good enough. 
I don't think that's good enough. If I need more, I will put more. Okay, now that the water is boiling, I'm going to season. I'm going to add two packages of sasson to give it the orange color. Okay. I'm also going to add some adobo. Just a little bit. Don't go too crazy because you don't want your potatoes to be salty. I'm going to add just a little bit of cumin. Okay. And I'm going to stir that up. And that's it. It's nice and flavored. And I'm going to turn the flame off. And apply this to the potatoes. Okay, so I'm gonna bring the juice here and lay it on my mitten. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to add the juice to the potatoes and mix it up. So let's start little by little. Add a little bit of juice. And now I'm just gonna mix it up. I'm going to keep adding. You don't want it to be real wet like mashed potatoes. You want it a little bit thicker. Not too thick, but just a little bit thicker. Okay, so I'm going to keep on adding juice until I get my texture. Okay, I'm going to add the remainder of the juice that's left, and that's it. Okay, and I think it's just perfect. Guys, so this is what the dough should look like. See how it's not too thick, but not too thin, not too watery? Now I'm going to let this cool off before I start making the quijena de papa because it's way too hot. So I'm going to let this cool off and you can taste the potatoes if you want more flavor go ahead and do your thing if you like it the way it is that's how you want your potato to taste you're fine scrambled eggs and my my all-purpose flour so I'm ready alright guys so let's look at the ground beef it has been cooking for about 15 minutes so let's go ahead and ooh, smells so good as you can see the onions have disappeared and it tastes good so I'm going to turn it off and get ready to make them okay guys so I got my meat ready my um, mashed potatoes is here my eggs and my flour so I'm going to show you how to make the first one which I'm just going to grab like a bunch like this Put it in my hand as you can see it's like clay it doesn't stick so that's how you want the texture of your um, mashed potatoes like always you want to flatten it in your hand okay flatten it like so then you're gonna grab a spoon of the meat and put it right in the middle like that and then you're going to bring it over and cover cover all the way around and if you don't have enough to cover the whole thing just form it into a ball in your hand as you can see I have a little hole there I'm just going to grab a little piece flatten it out and just patch it up <laughs> and then I have another um, hole on the other side grab another piece patch it up and form it into a ball in your hand okay until it looks like this as you can see all the way around there's no holes next I'm gonna put this inside of the egg okay so I'm gonna put it inside the egg and I'm going to spin it around to fully coat it with eggs. I'm going to put it in the flour. 
And now I'm gonna cover the papa with the flour. I'm gonna spin it around and do the same thing on the other side. Okay. Make sure that it's fully coated with flour. Okay. And then I'm going to grab it from here and then I'm going to put it inside the oil and I will show you that part in just a minute. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and start frying them. I have my little tongs here and I'm just going to place them in there. Place them in there. In there. Okay. He's been firing for five minutes. Let me go ahead and churn them for the first time. Okay. Let them fry for about five more minutes. Turn them again and wait till they get nice and golden brown and then take them out and drain them in a napkin. I'm gonna turn them again. I'm just gonna cook them till they're nice and brown, golden brown. I'm gonna fry them for like 10 more minutes and they're done. So I will put um, pictures in the end and all that good stuff. So talk to you guys later. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.